A very happy Friday, everyone. Today, I want to speak to you about a new video that I've just released. Um, some of you may have seen it. It was um, recorded live a few weeks ago with the, with the brilliant Professor Jane Moncton-Smith. Here's the thumbnail. We talked about the eight stages um, of domestic homicide. That's now available on the Police Science Doctor website. And the link is in the, in the description underneath. And um, also to let you know that last night I appeared live on the I Detective radio show. So here's a very professional picture of me getting ready and getting set up downstairs in the living room. Um, I did look a bit more professional um, at the time. So that's me in the bottom left in case you're not sure who I am. Um, also, what you should be knowing about is the conference, the rapid fire conference on behavioral science in policing is going to be training sessions which are only 10 minutes long so short sharp learning for you on a variety of topics so for example we have Jane Moncton Smith she's going to speak to us about how to recognize the eight stages to domestic homicide so a very compact version of what she's going to be talking about in the video when you watch it we have Dr. Patrick Tidmarsh about where to find the evidence in sexual offense cases Professor Gabriel Salfati, linking serial crimes, key indicators and behavioral patterns for solvability. Professor Jason Roach, how to prevent crime using the psychology of influence. Ginny McKenna, how to handle stress when working in the police. Why victims of domestic abuse don't leave their partner and how to help them. How to use behavioral science in crime analysis. How to deal with people in crisis as a first responder and using criminal spatial behavior to inform investigative strategies and in decision making. So these are all the fantastic speakers I've got lined up for you. And that's going to be taking place on Thursday, the 22nd of um, April. It's 1 p.m. GMT. I think it's going to be called BST at the time, British summer time, which should be 8 a.m. EST if you're in the New York area in America. So I know that lots of people have, um, have subscribed already from all over the world, about 800 but make sure you go to the actual conference link. That's policesciencedoctor.com forward slash RFC for Rapid Fire Conference. RFC for Rapid Fire Conference. You register there. It's free to attend. And then once I've got your, your email address, you're also going to be on the email list that you get um, where you get free things from me basically so on a tuesday for example i sent you three police science snippets these are golden nuggets of information extracted from academic research which you as a practitioner probably wouldn't be reading anyway but you can have them delivered to your inbox on a weekly basis by myself so um sign up to these um email uh, the email list just go to the website and register on the bottom of any page and then you will also be the first to find out about new things that are coming in, like for example the conference or any courses that i'm putting up so the police science doctor academy is actually now taking um taking pre-bookings for this course this is the emergency stress stress pit stop now when you're a first responder you're an emergency worker you're a police officer you're going to be coming across a lot of stress in your life now Jeannie actually gave me some stats a normal person normal person has about two to five critical incidents in their lifetime. A police officer in England, during their course of the working life, they will have between 300 and 400 critical incidents, which is probably why they are five times more likely to suffer from PTSD than the normal person. And actually one in five police officers does have symptoms of PTSD. So emergency stress pit stop is developed by an ex-police officer who has been to hell and back. She was at the brink of suicide. She was a frontline officer, was doing everything, night shifts, traffic, you name it. And she came out of it, not in the best way possible, but then she learned how to get other people out of it. She's a qualified and accredited coach now, and she specializes in frontline police officers and police staff. So emergency stress pit stop, um, I'm going to be talking to a lot of um, police HR departments and well-being officers about this course because um, I think that could really save them a lot of um, sick leave, uh, officers leaving, officers having breakdowns, officers getting sick, and you will get a lot more out of your police officers if you look after them properly. So these are the three things, really. Professor Jane Moncton-Smith's video, Eight Stages to Domestic Homicide, the conference, Rapid Fire Conference on Behavioral Science in Policing on Thursday, the 22nd of April, and the um, emergency stress pit stop, which can now be pre-booked. So I hope you have a wonderful Friday, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.